Follow all Moesu news on his website, www.mosu.com, on his Facebook and Instagram page too, for daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Mauricio. Let's continue the basic video about the mod experience. You have the six here front of me. You have the seventh or so with the synth keyboard action and you have the 888 note with the piano keyboard action. And today we are going to talk about the motion sequencer, what it is about. You say, ah, I know sequencer, I go to play rec and I can record my notes in pattern mode on the MIDI, which is a song, the linear sequencer. But what is this motion sequencer? That's what we are going to see on this video. If you do not know me, my name is Joel Borg and you can follow me too. On my Facebook page, it's called Moesieu, also. On the Instagram, it's Moesieu13. And also on the website, as a reference, you have www.moesieu.com. And if you are not a Moesieu YouTube follower, click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video. So, motion and sequencer. Sequencer means that we are programming some things and motion is moving, moving sound. And the good reference to explain to you to start is about controllers. Controllers have a destination. Here, as an example, I have the modulation wheel and I have a destination, which is a cutoff here on this 303, 303, not, it's not 100, 303 talker. And perhaps you have, you want to have something you want to have this as example when you play, but you need your two hands to play and the motion sequencer is the, the good weapon, I would say, for you to have this under control on your Modix Plus or Modix or Montage. And remember to you, all I explain here is apply also for Montage and for Modix, okay? So... Here, this is a physical controller, like the pitch band, like the assignable knob, like this is the controller that you have in hand. And the motion sequencer is a virtual controller. And you can say, okay, I understand the ID and I, I remember, I know where to go on the part. Why on the part? Because there will be free video. This is the first one. We are going to the motion sequencer part and we work on part. You have also the motion sequencer for the common level, and you have also motion sequencer for the super knob. Yo, great, isn't it? So I will do free video to do not have a huge long video uh, to prepare and for you to watch. Okay, so perhaps you think, okay, for the parts, I know I go to edit parts, and I will go to motion sequencer, I will activate the lane, and perhaps, and I have nothing. Why? Because like for each controller, before to activate what you want to have under control, you need to set the destination. That's the first thing you need to do. So you go to mod control, you go to control assign, and as example for my mod wheel, if I push auto select and then move my mod wheel, automatically I have the mod wheel here, I unselect no, and you see this is the cutoff, which is under control. And what are the controllers we have here? You have the pitch band because you can set the pitch band for the tone at zero zero and use the pitch band for something else. In this case, to do not manage up and down tone. You have the mod wheel, but you have also here the aftertouch. Why does we have aftertouch? The keyboard here on Modix Plus and Modix do not have aftertouch to have the compatibility with the montage, of course. And that's why we have this. And you have also the ribbon here in the same ID. But sometimes go to the preset and check what is assigned on montage to the aftertouch and to the ribbon. You have the breath. The breath, there is no breath PC free input in montage modics on modic fluids. But you can use the tick control, the T control 
check my video with Camelot Pro, you can have the breath and lot of other things with the T-Control, you can have four destinations, check my video I done about this, it's very great to switch your things under control and keep your hands on the keyboard and check what it is, what is assigned to the aftertouch, to the, to the ribbon, right, to the breath, there is nothing, and say, okay, they control this in this way, I can do that, I can assign that to something else, as example, why not? So the aftertouch here, I will put this example because not all the, the performance and the parts inside use the aftertouch even on montage. So I know that the 303 talker use the aftertouch because I done a masterclass session with someone and we have shake this. And here, this is the element LFO pitch modulation. So let's go. What can I have under control as destination? I will not pass through all because it will be too long, but on the part, remember, we are on the part level, on the top, edit part, come on, edit part one. You can have all, all the settings available on your insert A and insert B. Of course, the settings and the destination depends of the effect you have put in insert A and insert B, eh? but you have a lot of things you can have in the control. You have some part parameters, reverse time variation, same part of time, monopoly, but monopoly, you know, not so great, I think, for motion sequencer, the pitch, volume, etc. And here you have the element because I am on AWM2. But if I work with FMX part, here I have operator and I'll have a lot of destination, not all the same because this is FMX and this is not the same destination, but you have a lot of destination for FMX2. And here we have seen this, is, this was the element LFO pitch modulation that we have under control your aftertouch on montage that I can work with. But here I want to work as a controller, as a virtual controller with the motion sequence. So I press on the controller and you can assign it to the pitch band, to the mod wheel, to the foot controller one and two, the foot switch, ribbon, no, breath, no. Except if you have the T control, you cannot draw assignable knob, the eight, the assign switch one and two. And here you have the motion sequencer, you have four lanes. I will not explain to you on this video what are the four lanes. I will explain this on the second video, on the bonus, on the bonus of the second video for the common part. And you have some other virtual controllers which are envelope follower, and there will be other video about the envelope followers, of course. Later, later, let me time to produce and record them. So let's assign to motion sequencer lane one, MS lane one. And no, my element LFO PMD is on motion sequencer lane one. Okay, this is the first step in the workflow to assign a motion sequence. Let's go now to motion sequencer by default, because they have started to work. You are like that and you have four lane, I will explain it on bonus on video two. And here I activate, I will not go in the in the FX. And here I activate it and nothing. Why? Because it's like the arpeggio. You need to set the motion sequencer on here with this button. And here we start to have some think. You can sync uh, with the tempo or not, uh, with a speed like this, or with the B, the AD input, if we set the AD input, and the ARP, I will not go so much, let's go to the tempo. You have the unit multiply, the ID is the same, but the arpeggio, you can, with keeping the same tempo and changing the speed of your motion sequencer, like you can do on the arpeggio, you can say a key on reset, each time you remove it, restart or not, as you want, you can have a loop or not, you can have a velocity limit, you have the cycle. I will say this is a step, like a step sequencer. And if this is not not, this is the amplitude that we are going to modulate for our destination here, the element LFO. And when you are here, you have things under control with the fader. That's very easy. You perhaps for simple things, you do not need to go inside the, the big edit, I will say. And you can do some or prepare some things like that. Okay, and here we have some things. Ah, we start to have some things. We start to have some things. But here, as example, I want to do these simple things. Does I need to keep the 16th step? No. So if you want to do simply things, perhaps, just assign four step, as example, four cycle. 
and they will repeat, repeat, repeat like this. If you want to go deeper, you can go on edit sequence, you will drive the lane number, and you can navigate through the lane when they are activated, of course. You can change step, and you have the amplitude, so you can change the amplitude. And what you are going to uh, modulate, you can make change smooth. And the big important things, you have eight sequence inside the motion sequencer. So not only one, I have this lane, and on this lane I can have eight modulation, different sequence. Like we have eight arpeggio variations, you can have eight different motion sequence variations. So very powerful engine. Here on the motion sequence, you can set the things bipolar, uh, and here you hear up and down the things, very poor. You have 18, 18 forms that you can assign, and you can assign A and B things like different way like that. Not this one. So you can make your, if you want, you can move them and large, change things on them uh, like this. I will not go fully deeper on this. If you want to know, ask me for a Mauricio Masterclass. You can reverse the things, so depend the, the form is, it is, of course. And you can store this as a user motion sequence and keep it for something else. And you hear... I know it changed and I have my motion sequencer. Activate no, so I can do some uh, great things like that. That you have mostly things. So, very, very cool and powerful engine with the motion sequencer. I think you do not know what it is about, and you need to work with it when you do some modern things, I would say more modern. But why not with an electric piano to have something like a tremolo moving as you want? Also, you can do what you want of course if you really 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 want to go deeper with this you can ask me for a Mauricio masterclass you have all information on video description and on video ending so shoot all the video to see the video ending too and that's the bonus time so for this bonus first thing i come back to my own view and check on the preset also when you have this MS on here, this green things, MS on here, here, like that, I put it on now. This means that there is at minimum a lane and you have a motion sequencer ready to go. So if by default the MS is set to off, try, push and try. And what is the difference? Shake, shake on the preset. But this is not the idea of this bonus. The bonus is say, okay. You have explained to us that we can go and check what was for the, the aftertouch, for the rebound, that we do not have on the modics. And, but if I want to have something else under control, oh, I can assign it easily. So it's a remind, because this is a classic shortcut that we have on montage and modics and non modics. But sometimes, for basics, we need to remind to you what are the good ways to produce the things and to do the things. So. Let's go to edit, let's go to part, because we stay on edit part, as remember for this first video. And as an example, I want to have the variation send under the motion sequence. I just need to press control, sign, and you know, I say, yes, I know if I push the super no, if I push the button on the mod, it's assigned directly the controller to the destination. But you have also on the screen, shake, you have the motion sequence lane and you have the envelope follower. Let's go to the envelope. But I can assign it to the motion sequence lane. And easy, tala, it's done. And you can see also one of the things. Yes, we have several lanes. I will explain on the bonus for the video too. But you are not obliged to assign one thing to one lane and one of the things to the second lane, and one of the things to the third. If you want to have the same control for several destinations, you can put them on the same lane, and they will move uh, through the same way. And here, this is the variation set that's moving, and you can manage with the ratio, as example, if they are too much for this. And you can manage things also here inside to have some little differences from what you have in the lane, in the motion sec, and one you have uh, for 
your part. So that's all for the bodies. I hope you have found the video interesting. I hope you have liked it. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. Very important for me. Remember, I am alone to do all I done on with you. The video, the website, the Facebook, the Instagram. So it takes two seconds for you if you have liked to say, okay, press like. But for me, it's very kind to say, okay, people like what I done. So very, very happy when I have some likes. And if you want to help me also support the channel, you have bottom right the video somewhere in here. You have the super thanks. The super thanks is like a kind of donation from $2 to what you want. And it can help me to improve the gear I use to produce this video, as example, or to renew the licenses for the website, for the video editing, for all the things. So thank you in advance if you want to support the Moisture channel by using the super thanks. And if you want a Moisture masterclass, check on video description and on video ending that come. See you soon for one of our Moisture video. Bye. Would you like to discover, learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesu Master Class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moesu expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist for nearly 20 years and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of International Yamaha Tech Talk Live Team and host of the Camel of Pro Sessions for Audio Modeling, Joel will take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite or Camel of Pro. Book your session from the Moesu Facebook page. Use slots available in the service tab, or by email, moesu at orange.fr. This service is available in French and English, only for users who live in European Union. Camelot Pro 1 to 1 Masterclass are available for users all over the world through audio modeling platform. Thank you for watching this Moesu video. Do not forget to click on like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment or ask a question. See you soon. Bye.